guys, welcome back to my channel. If you didn't already know, my name is Lauren and today we're going to be playing around with this little sucker. When I say little sucker, I literally mean little sucker because this is a pore vacuum. Well, on here it's called multifunctional cleaning instrument, but it is a pore vacuum. Now, I know that a lot of YouTubers have done this in the past and it's actually really funny because I have this weird thing. It's <laughs> I'm not psychic at all. In fact, I don't believe in psychicism, whatever it's called. But when everyone started using this in their videos, before that time, like just before, I was thinking, because I have lots of blackheads on my nose, I was thinking, what would be like a better way to get blackheads out? I usually use a pore strip, but I thought, wouldn't it be cool? There was like a device that would just like suck it out like a vacuum. And then lo and behold, it became a trend and a phase. This was years ago now, but we're doing it today. This is also more popular these days anyway as a self microdermabrasion instrument. But this one is just, you know, one that I got off eBay for like 15 bucks. So this is how the box came. I'll just close it. This is how the box came. And we've got some instructions on the back. Inside the box, there's no pamphlet or anything. I bought this a while back, so <laughs> I was meaning to use it, but I just never have. So it comes like this. It's got your charging wire and these little filters and a silicone, two silicone ring looking things. I don't know what that's for. Then they have the actual instrument here. You hold the button. Oh, it turns on. It's working. Can you hear it? So yeah, it's got the cleaning instrument and various different heads. You could just pop them off like this and you can change them. This one is like a smaller nozzle. This one's a fatter one. This one's like an in-between. It's got more of like a rounded kind of tip. And same with this one, but this one, it kind of tapers a bit more. So it looks kind of like an eye. It actually comes with a microdermabrasion head. This one doesn't have anything on the top, it's just plastic. And then this one actually has like a metal kind of, it's got a texture to it. A textured metal head. But I won't be using this. Um, I know for microdermabrasion that they actually use like diamond or crystal or something. So I feel like this is just a cheap alternative and I'm not willing to risk that in particular. I can pop this part off. And that's where the silicone rings are. And inside it is the filter. Since I bought this, I have also gotten something that everyone on YouTube has been obsessed with. It's more recent. By the way, if you hear any yelling, that's my husband playing this game called Escape from Tarkov. He's been obsessed with it. Anyway, we have this little thing. So, this is a microscope. Today, we're going to go up close and look into the pores on my nose and see what's actually happening there. So before we steam the face and open up the pores, we're going to look at what the pores look like closed. Okay, so we're definitely more up close and personal right now. So let's get this thing started. I'm just going to dive into it. Hey, onto my nose. This is real gross. Oh, see, we can already see a blackhead right there. Oh gosh, that is gross. So that's the side, the right side of my nose. As you can see, that's just, that's gross. Let's go on the left side of my nose. Gosh, that is so gross. I don't really have oily skin, but my nose would probably be the area that gets the most oily throughout the day or whatever. Oh, let me just, am I sweating? Are those sweat droplets? The bridge of my nose is kind of fine. It's literally just the sides that are the issue. The sides of my nose are just disgusting. You can see like the shininess of it. Oh gosh. So I'm going to stop recording there. I am going to go open my pores with steaming my face for around five minutes, five to ten minutes. And I will be back and we will look under the microscope again to see if there is any change to the look of my pores under the microscope and then we will go into the pore vacuum. I'll be back. What's up guys? 
the one's fucking up. How do I look? Oh my gosh. That's so intense. I feel so good though. But steaming your face is intense because it gets all up in your, like your vocal cords and your lungs and it's good for you, but I think I had a little bit too hot at first. But uh, here we are. Even like my shirt, it's moist. Anyway, oh gosh. Oh, my skin looks amazing. Wow. Okay, anyway, let's get back to it. I've opened up my pores. I'm gonna use this fancy thing again. And let's record. I can't really tell the difference in like pore size wise. I mean, texturally, like, they look a bit different. Oh, wait, yeah, for sure. <gasps> my laptop just restarted. Uh, well, anyway, my pores have enlarged and we're ready to use the pore vacuum. You could see, like, a ring around it. It, wasn't, it didn't look so tight. So at least you'll know that steaming your face actually does work now and it actually opens up your pores. So, let's get into it. Instructions, tips. Please operate on the back of the hand skillfully before you use it on your face. Great English. Move from top to bottom during use. Do not stay in the same place. This can cause redness of skin. It is recommended to use the derived lotion or form, form, foment with warm water on the cleaning area before using the cleaner. Let's do this. Okay. Let's go with this one. It's kind of like the medium sized one from the lot. So I'm gonna chuck that on. Oh yes, yeah, so we need to test it skillfully on the back of the hand first. So I'm gonna turn it on. You can hear it. Uh, not on my face yet. Test skillfully on the back of the hand. Oh, it's working! Oh, that's pretty strong. Is this skillfully? I don't know. I wanna try setting two. Oh, that is definitely stronger. Setting three, you can hear it as well, man. Oh, got my tiny little mirror here. Let's start. Where do I go? I'm scared! Wow, that feels intense, okay. okay keep moving. I feel like it is attempting to pull it out. But hold on, let's turn it off. Oh, I can actually see some stuff. We'll just keep going, see how it works. Now I'm gonna go to section two. Man, this is intense when it's like on your nose. You can like feel it sucking at your life. Oh yeah, it's definitely got some stuff now. But I don't necessarily know if it's like blackheads or just gunk. Ow! <gasps> oh! I have a pimple growing on the side of my nose. I didn't. I knew, but I forgot, and I went over it. That's painful. Okay. Let's try not to go over that section. Looking up close, I still feel like there's a lot of gunk in my skin. I mean, not necessarily gunk, but like the blackheads are still like into my pores. And this thing is only kind of getting surface gunk rather than the actual stuff. But there is a little bit there. I think you can see it right there. Oh, do you know what I should do? I have some Q-tips. My skin actually looks amazing after steaming. I should steam off. Anyway, took this off. I just oh yuck! Oh gosh, you can actually see that. Ugh. It is only a little bit. I only went over it a few times, so I don't know. Can I... Should I try the third speed? No, I'm gonna try the third speed. 
see how we go. Here we go. Not going over that spot. Oh, feels smooth though. Okay, let's go. Oh man, that's intense. Oh my gosh, I tried going around my growing pimple and it kind of got stuck. Let's keep going. Oh, I can see it trying to like, oh, stuff is coming out. Hold on, hold on. So there's definitely gunk in here. So going up close to my face, looking at it from the mirror, you can see the black heads are actually halfway out so they're making their way out but they haven't fully been sucked out technically but they're on their way and I think actually some of my pores look a bit empty oh this is actually working okay let's keep going oh my gosh some of them actually come out. Oh my goodness. I'm actually so surprised. So it was definitely harder on the left side because the pimple is there. But there is like visible, visible ring of like gunk. I'm going to now use the finer nozzle because I want to really get into the edges of my nose. I always get like little black heads trapped over here in these little like creases. So I can see some right here and I really want to target that area and try my best to not hurt my pimple. Okay, I got some of it out. This tip is really like, they've really like flattened it so it's scraping on the skin. Whereas this one has got more of a, like a rounded like, it won't scrape on the skin, it will glide across it. But this is just like flat, it's scraping my skin and I don't like it. Not at all. The rest of them are all rounded, but this one, nah. But it did get some stuff, but I'm not using it. I'm going to use. The other one, the eye looking one. Let's try again. I'm gonna try like here in my nose now. Oh my gosh, you can actually see the flex of my blackheads like throughout the tube. That's just, that's gross, that's crazy. And, oh my gosh! This is how you know it's cheap. <laughs> I just broke it. I was just trying to get this tip off and it just completely came off. Well, I shoved it back on, but still, like, come on. I know someone else who has really horrible blackheads on their nose. So, I'm gonna try that on my husband. Let's hope he's just willing to do it but literally he does nothing to his face he doesn't moisturize he only washes it like when he's in the shower and maybe when he brushes his teeth I don't know and just with water and his nose is just a gold mine of blackheads so we'll see what happens okay I'm gonna go ask him now before I do this otherwise it's kind of gonna just spoil it I need to farm some trees Hello. What are you what are you doing, huh? Can you please volunteer in my video? Can I what? Be in my video. Yes, what would you like me to do? <laughs> just just hold on a moment. You can play for like a little bit longer and then I need you. I'm not putting makeup on me. No, I'm not putting makeup on. Alright. I promise. Okay. Okay. I'm back. And my husband said yes, that's you saw from the video. But first, let's talk about my nose. Now, what I saw with my nose using the microscope is that it... Some of my pores were empty. On it, honestly, I only saw like one or two pores that were empty and the rest of them seemed pretty full and gunky still. But 
those are probably like the ones that are really really small and not the so obvious ones I did notice that when I was going around it was a little bit harder to find the big ones and the ones that I took photos of before so I guess in a sense it does work but we're not here to test it on my skin anymore because my skin is not as bad as my husband's skin Okay, so we just looked at my husband's nose under the microscope and it's gross. I just looked in here for the filter and it looks normal, fine, nothing special. So we're just going to keep the same filter on and we're going to go back to this one. Welcome. Come. We're going to use this vacuum, poor vacuum on your nose. <laughs> you can <get laughs> see if anything from comes dude. <laughs> from eBay. Mm -hmm. So anyway. Okay, up a bit closer to your face. Welcome. Well, let's get started. Start on the strongest strength. Are we ready? Mm. <laughs> okay. There's no way this is working. You never know. No, it's not working for sure. Too weak. Too weak? Mm -hmm. Can you see him there? Yeah, not really. <laughs> not much. Yeah, I know, but like your, what is it? The skin on your nose is coming off. No, don't leave it! Don't I'm leave it on one spot! My goodness. How do I make it focus? Oh my. I can see some of it coming out. Bro, that's so gross. Ew! Such a gunky nose. I don't think there's any coming out. Yeah. You have to go like this. In ways. In ways. Like Here. this, no, like this. Hmm? Scraping out the gunk. <laughs> and your nose. Yeah, I feel so gross. No, we're doing this in the name of science. Science. Did it really work in general? I wouldn't say it's so much like a vacuum for blackheads and it doesn't claim to be. It just claims to be a, what is it? Something cleaning instrument? It says, multifunctional cleaning instrument is a beauty instrument that set, that set dermabrasion. Okay. That set dermabrasion, compact, pore purify, acne treatment oh there we go blackhead and acne removal and other functions in one it does say that blackheads and acne can be removed with this so my final thoughts on this poor vacuum thing does it work somewhat it works on the surface gunk and it does draw out some blackheads but not to the extent of actually vacuuming them out into the vacuum. It just vacuums them out halfway. Did this thing work? Somewhat. Was it fun? Yeah, it was pretty fun. Like I said, I won't be using the dermabrasion tool at all. This filter is fine. But yes, that concludes this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I know it was kind of gross. You know, it's interesting to see if these little devices work. Hopefully my skin will be fine. I'm pretty sure it will be. If you did like this video, make sure to click the like button and give it a big thumbs up there. And please subscribe to my channel. It really helps and supports me. If you do want to get notified when I post, 
do click the bell icon, but I also do post every Friday fortnight at 5.30pm. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later. Bye!